So a couple of days ago, the Meta team announced the Aria Gen 2, which is the second version of their kind of demo Aria 1 glasses. These are not along the same path as the Orion or the Meta Smart Glasses. However, I do see these two technologies kind of fusing together eventually. I don't know if it's going to be the Meta Gen 3s that will maybe come out later this year, or beginning of next year, but that is certainly something that this has cameras on it and it has five microphones. So it is able to do some of that spatial audio, but some of the kind of changes in the Aria Gen 2 are sensor suites that can actually perceive as you do. And with the spatial audio, it is able to give you directional clues of things that are inside. So like when I was at CES and I checked out Nuance Audio, for example, which is kind of the hearing aid of these types of glasses. This is more of like the visual aid of these types of glasses. At the Venetian Expo Center, I was inside and I was going to lots of random different locations. And sometimes they were actually pretty hard to find. So GPS is not good in those indoor situations, but something that has these auditory cues could be actually very useful for indoor navigation and for the visually impaired. So let's walk through quickly what Aria Gen 2 brings and what it doesn't as well. The Aria Gen 2 will bring an upgraded sensor suite that has a computer vision camera with also a 40% bigger battery than the first. Also note that this is not a commercial product yet. This is just kind of their announcement of a second generation of something they're working on. I would expect that we'll see something like this in the next like year or two maybe that will actually hit the market. And then it has in-body tracking. So these are the Meta Smart Glasses. But when I'm wearing these, the camera only kind of detects stuff that I'm asking in front of me. But these apparently seem to like be able to track your hands and what they're doing. Advanced eye tracking camera tracks your gaze to understand what you're looking at and tracks your hand to identify the object you're interacting with all while monitoring your heart rate for a comprehensive understanding of your well-being. There is also a new heart rate detection sensor. And then there is also a contact versus a spatial microphone. So having these different microphones on the body allows it to know if you are talking or if it's a passerby or someone kind of in the distance. And that way it is able to have that distinction of the audio forms. When you listen to sounds over headphones, they'll sound like they're inside your head. Spatial audio is a technology that lets you place sounds over headphones that seem like they're coming from a real location out in the world. And all you have to do is follow that sound. You can also track your gaze as well. So in addition to tracking your hands, it can see where you're looking. So if you're doing something in conjunction with your hands and your eyes, that will be noted on the device. And it is also doing everything in real time versus these where it's sending a lot of the data to the cloud. This is actually processing it on board. That's why it's, uh, in my opinion, a lot bulkier because of the sensor suite that it has and the chips that are required to do that locally versus sending it to the meta cloud. Now, this is a combination between a company called Envision, Lighthouse SF, and Meta. Kind of like this is a combo between Ray-Ban and Meta. This is these two other companies that are working probably with the, the construction, the camera systems, and the actual sensors inside. It is always listening as well, so you can have these kind of real-time conversations with the glasses. Help me pick up some red onions. Taking you to red onions. Red onions are here. The Meta Smart Glasses just got an update kind of like that, where it's an always on mode but that will drain your battery faster on these. And these apparently have a bigger battery. So that is something to note if you do have the MetaSmart glasses and you're using that. If you have any ideas of what you think these Aria Gen 2 glasses could be used for, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your, your opinions. When I was at CES, I met with the parent company of Ray-Ban Metas, the SLS or Lusatica company. And I talked to them about some potential features we might see in the future. So you can check that out here if you wanna see that or the Nuance Audio Company, I also talked to them at CS, and that is a hearing aid glass, like I told you, and you can check that video out here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.